This video shows the configuration and setup of the Simple St. Anne Mosley's layout in MIDI Designer Pro. Begin by setting up the outwork in MIDI Designer Pro configuration. Go to the Audio MIDI Setup. In the computer, show MIDI Studio. Configure Devices. Open the MIDI Network Setup. Select the iPad. Connect and then select and close. With Howark open, verify the MIDI ports. Go to General Setting. In my case, the setting is Network Session 1 for both MIDI In and MIDI Out. Now in MIDI Designer Pro on the iPad, connect your computer. Close the configuration. You now can control Outwork using your iPad. Now we set up Outwork to display the Master General Pistons. Go to View, Mini Control Panels, Master Generals 1 to 10, and then repeat selecting Master Generals 11 to 20. Now you see all Master General Pistons at the top of how it works display. Stop and coupler setup is straightforward. One way I prefer to program stops and couplers is to right click on a hot work stop such as oboe. Adjust the MIDI trigger settings manually then go to the top stop and work my way down. To set up each stop select it Select Auto Detect, then double click the corresponding button on the iPad. Click Done and then repeat for each stop and coupler, except you need to skip 031, the bass coupler, 037, Swell to Great Melody, 042, 43, and 44, the crescendo to pedals great and swell, and end with doing the swell tremulant. Verify each stop and coupler. Also verify the primary MIDI out for each stop and coupler is auto MIDI output match to input. Finally, click OK to save your settings. The crescendo and general actions require special setup. First, turn off the three crescendo buttons in Hotwork. Make sure they are off on the iPad as well. Right click on one and display the MIDI trigger settings manually. Go to the coupler crescendo to swell. Auto Detect, press iPad button once, click Done. Repeat for Crescendo to Great and Crescendo to Pedal. Verify that all three are Channel 1 in 003, 004, and 005. Now select COMB GIN FF Action. Auto Detect. Click the FF button on the iPad once. Click Done. Channel 1, controller 008 should be displayed. Repeat for GIN PP Action. Channel 1, controller 007. Then go to Coupler, Swell to Great Melody. That, re that should end up to be Channel 1, 002. Then Coupler, Bass Coupler, should be Channel 1, 001.
Click OK to save. The general cancel setup requires some manual settings. First, right click the general cancel in Hotwork. Auto detect. Press clear in the iPad once. Click done. Change the input to momentary pistons, MIDI CC on and or CC off. Change the MIDI channel to 4 and the on controller to 008. Verify by turning several stops on. Click clear in the iPad and all the stops should go off in both Outwork and the iPad. The setup for Master General's Pistons is different than previous settings. First, right click Master General's button number one on the on how it work. Select adjust MIDI key trigger setting manually. Number two, select clear on the iPad. Then select auto detect. Click button one on the iPad once and then click done. Repeat for buttons 2 through 18. You must select clear on the iPad before selecting auto detection. When finished, verify that the MIDI channel is 4, the ON controller is sequential from 011 to 028. Master General 19 and Master General 20 uh, have no input. Before continuing, you must program registrations in Hotwork for the Master General Pistons. Then you can verify control from the iPad. I have established just some arbitrary selection of re registrations uh, just to show that everything seems to be working. Not only seems to be, but is. The up and down buttons on the iPad are not programmable in how it work. They are controlled in the iPad. Thank you. I hope everything has worked out fine and that you are able to make use of the features that I have included in the MIDI Designer Pro layout. If you have any questions or comments, you can contact me at djsorg2062 at gmail.com Again, thanks.